welcome back to my channel happy new year today we are going to be trying some viral tiktok foods not much it's a little snack and i know it's late right now i don't know what time y'all gonna be watching this video but y'all know i'm greedy so i'm gonna get the kids we're gonna try the snacks i'm gonna have them try it and we're gonna see how this goes all right y'all okay so these are jalapenos <laughs> with the cream cheese. Okay, so we got the jalapenos. Oh, you have a pencil ready or are you hitting on it? Y'all ready? Uh-huh. That tastes good. Mm-hmm. That tastes good, right? Mm-hmm. You like it? <laughs> So, this is 10 out of 10. Yeah. It's good. So it's it's really good. It it's spicy, mm -hmm. but it's good. My mouth is on fire. This shit is crazy. This should make me want to take my eyelashes off. I can't. Yo, mommy. Yo, mommy. I drink all that. It's not even spicy for him. Don't act. <laughs> She's don't not act like it's not spicy, spicy for y'all. She was just bugging, just like me. We was drinking mad water and milk just now. Yo, All right, so crazy. now, y'all, we're going to try some fried Oreos. That's my taste, girl. I can eat oh, wow. these, but I can't eat, like, a whole bag, like, back to back the way the kids be eating it they be eating it like they eat it like it's nothing all day like they will eat this for breakfast lunch and dinner you can't, you can't do it. and with the jalapeno it tastes so good the cream cheese y'all oh my god it was good it was really good like <laughs> it's just spicy it's really spicy like, anyways we about to make some fried oreos not purple, there's blue Takis. There's purple Takis? I know there's blue ones. Yeah, there's purple Takis. about to do some fried Oreos. What? Put this in there. I don't know if the other one is good, that's why I bought it. So, we I don't know if you guys use this for y'all fried Oreos, but some people use, I don't know if they use um, like regular batter. This is pancake batter. Let's just stir this bad boy up. Then we want, I'm going to fast forward this video a little bit for y'all. We're not going to see it right now. So I have the pancake batter here. With some Oreos, I got Oreo things because I don't really like like all that extra. Like if we eat one, we'll be like extremely full. But with these, you could have like maybe two or three of them. Oil is already hot. I'm gonna just take the Oreo and dip it on there. Oreo in there. I'm gonna just take it out. Really and another reason why I wanted to do this is because um, I posted it on my Instagram earlier and like 
not earlier. I don't know when y'all gonna be watching this video. Probably tomorrow or the next day, but everybody's asking me for some. Like, can I have some? Can you make me some? So like, it's very easy. Y'all can make this yourselves. Honestly. gonna say my real name and tell them your nickname yeah <laughs> i am a juice and juice a dog a who juice a dog okay guys that's it for the viral tiktok food i was gonna try some fruit roll up with some ice cream but i left the ice cream i forgot to buy the ice cream like but anyways we can do that next time for now today i want to talk about some expensive perfumes i got smell really good and i want to kind of like recommend you guys so first up we have this this right here you're gonna pull all the guys okay this smells so amazing like my friend bought this for me for my birthday it's angel nova i'm gonna try to find a link for this maybe or something so i could leave it in the description i don't know where she got it from i want to ask her because it was a surprise you know but i really love this just in case this runs out i do want to purchase another one this is bomb and if you haven't already on my instagram story seen my other jimmy choo sorry there's some makeup right here. my other jimmy choo i have a bigger box it's literally like sitting right here on my dresser i'm gonna move all my stuff it's too much right now but this came in the bigger box this is another jimmy choo this has a rich smell jimmy choo smells good okay and this one that my friend also bought me for my birthday this one smells like love this i love it i love it so much so um yeah, I'm going to try to find a link to this Jimmy Choo and the one that my other friend bought me for my birthday last year. And I'll just leave it like in the description for you guys so you guys can go purchase them. These perfumes smell good, right? Okay, y'all, let's talk about this. So I ordered this Versace. I don't know if you guys can see. I ordered this Versace one from Amazon from my friend. This is what came in the mail, guys. Sorry if you guys hear my son in the background. This is what came in the mail. This is a mini Versace perfume. You guys can see. <laughs> I ordered this for somebody as a gift for Christmas, guys, and it just came today. It smells really good, it's amazing, but I'm just so appalled at how small it is. Like, it has to be a joke. Anyways, I got this from Amazon. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. I didn't know it was this small, I swear I didn't, but I'm gonna leave the link in this description below just in case y'all want the small one, and I'm gonna put the big one in the description because I wasn't reading. When... Sorry, my video had cut off y'all, but I was saying, I wasn't reading when I was ordering the perfume. I was kind of like just, I wouldn't say in a rush, but I wasn't reading. And I didn't see how small it was. But I'm going to leave the big one and the small one in the description so you guys can go look for it. It's on Amazon. Very affordable. So, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, I do want to talk about dating, how tragic 
it is <laughs> like dating right now for me is a game and if you are not prepared to lose you will lose your mind okay to literally right now in the dating scene in the dating life you have to date with the intention that this is going to end tomorrow to end any day like do not overthink don't go into it planning a future because nine times out of ten it's not gonna last you know you ain't gonna see that boy tomorrow and it's crazy like i don't understand the era that we're in it's like really hard now to like meet somebody and build with them get to know them and i just yo guys i'm done i can't date right now like i'm in this space where i just feel like rejecting everybody like i've been to myself i feel so content with my decision and honestly you have to be prepared to say no like you have to learn the word no especially when you're dating because men expect you to go above and beyond for them without them lifting a finger and they will be giving you the bare minimum while you're breaking your back for something that's probably not even gonna go anywhere and i don't know why but i do this thing when i'm dating like i i have these like vision like if i really like you i plan like these visions in my mind <laughs> that we're gonna somehow be together or build a future but i don't know why i guess that just what makes me feel better in that moment because i'm not really a person that expresses my emotions when i'm dating like if we're dating we're having fun i'm all for it. come to somewhere where like things start getting toxic or i just i'm not feeling it i immediately remove myself you that's another thing you gotta learn detachment because if you're one of those people that are easily attached you will easily get your heart broken in the dating field like that's just how it is nowadays nowadays you have to be ready for anything like dating a married man and you don't even know like you can be dating somebody's boyfriend you won't know like this world is genuinely crazy i'm sorry my lips is mad dry y'all but yeah, it's getting, it's getting crazy out here. Like, it's getting too crazy. It's getting a little too crazy, y'all. And I'm going to show y'all some of my DMs that I be getting on the daily from these niggas. And it's just, like, really pathetic. It's so pathetic. It's to the point where it's like, where does it end? Like, when are you niggas really going to step the fuck up and grow up? Like, it's really tiring. It's embarrassing. Like, at this point... I don't understand why y'all think, <laughs> y'all, right now, I think I am a walking bank or I'm a walking lick because these niggas is coming left to right in my DM asking me for money. I don't have money. I don't know what y'all think this is. And one, I do not deal with men in jail. Like, I know some people going to get offended at this, but like, I'm not a jail person i don't know how to hold it down like that like i really don't i don't send my money to people in jail i don't do stuff like that and men that i haven't seen in years i haven't spoke to we don't date we we don't have no type of connection in my d I don't, how are y'all even getting phones in jail nowadays I don't, I don't know what's going on in these jail facilities but these men are in my dm asking me for money I don't have money. Who the fuck told y'all I had money? I don't have no money. Like the, the other day, this boy that I grew up with, we weren't really dating back in the days, but we were cool. Like we hung around the same group of people, you know? Um, he messaged me like, oh, how you doing? I'm like, we having a normal ass conversation. Like I'm good, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, um, so when you coming home, and he's like, um, I got another year and some change just praying i get out and blah 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 why i'm like all right that's good god bless you blah 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 friendliest conversation ever and then out of nowhere he yeah but do you mind sending me a hundred dollars what boy why would you ever ask me to do something like that like that is beyond me i will i don't do those things i don't do that do that i don't have those issues i don't date men that put themselves in predicaments like that to where i have to go in my my pocket and 
dish out money i don't do it i don't know how to do it and i will dead ass leave you especially if you're doing some serious time i'm sorry i will leave you like i will leave you especially if i was not your girlfriend when you got in there what in your right mind like i'm confused like i understand if i was like in a long-term relationship with this person and we've been rocking and this is how we rocking I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to have, I'm going to figure out how to do it, but never been put in the situation where I had to actually do something like that. So I don't know what to do. And I have a child. Why would I be dishing out money? Baby, I don't know what y'all think this is. Like, stop it. Stop with the nonsense. I can't help. That message, I, I'm not going to insert it in this video because I kind of feel bad. And I understand maybe he's going through something. He don't got other people to really help him, but... <laughs> Y'all, this boy asked me to help him pay for his lawyer. Like, what type of money y'all think I'm getting? What type of money y'all think I'm getting on this app? Like, I don't understand. Like, it's getting crazy. And it's like, will I ever find a real one? Like, it stresses me out. Like, really, it really does. But I'd rather be single because I am not missing anything i'm already out here getting dogged out by these niggas how the fuck am i gonna go hold somebody down so when he come home he could dog me i'm good i'm good i don't want it i'm okay with just being by myself okay moving along y'all i'm gonna post some of these dms this is crazy like there's niggas in there talking about i want to spoil you as soon as i answer they trying to send me, they trying to send me explicit photos. Like I can't, where do you find a real one? Because it's not on the internet. It's not, it's, the internet's full of creeps, okay? Full of creeps. But anyways, I'm gonna post these messages. I'll be right back. Since when we start doing that, leaving niggas on scene. That's crazy. I ain't never expect that from you, Tiger. You supposed to be like baby girl. Like, what the fuck? You just know who, you, who this is, right? Like, act like you snow. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Yo. Oh, yeah? How much, Tiger? You gonna have to, like, Show me a little more, you all. Now, what's up, though? How you feeling? What you doing? What up? So now do y'all see why? Like, this is just too much. And honestly, this year I'm really going to be focused on putting more content out and just worrying about me and my own because I'm trying to move out of New York, y'all. Like, that's one of my New Year's resolutions. I'm moving to Texas. I'm going. I'm going. I don't know how I'm going to get there, but by the grace of God in the universe, I'm going. I'm going is just so it's turning into like many a mini hollywood like a mini a mini california like everybody wants to be a rapper everybody has a fake ass and titties it's just crazy here and like there's no support there's no support nobody has each other's back everybody's in competition i don't want this type of energy okay i'm all for the growth i want to help everybody in every which way i can like i'm not one of these people that that's that's hating you know like it's it's just it's sisterhood over here okay this is this is a judge free zone sorry <laughs> but yeah y'all know those of you who know how i'm rocking y'all know i'm a real bitch okay i'm official y'all be around me i'm cool i'm cool if you cool but anyways y'all that's my new year's resolution just to stick to myself because these men 
I don't know what's going on. Like, what's in the air? <laughs> like, what is it? What is it? Is it because there's so many women finally becoming independent? These men are really scared. Like, they scared of us. They scared to take us serious because we got our own. We on our shit. We bossing the fuck up. I think they're really intimidated. Like, it's scary. Somebody please comment below dm me let me know what i am doing wrong why i cannot attract the right man because the either have sex with you take your money or dog you the fuck out it's in between those three like and if you're willing to do get dogged out spend your money deal with with niggas that really bring the bare minimum in by all means sis enjoy and for those who are in a relationship i'm i'm happy for you i'm just a little jealous because where did you find your true love where in a world like this i don't know i don't know i don't know okay y'all but like comment share and subscribe that was just a little rant i'm about to go to bed i'm stuffed and full i ate way too much junk food Hey guys, so I'm in the bathroom. I'm about to get my nighttime routine started. I have makeup on. I'm going to just wipe this makeup off. My mom usually brings home these disposable washcloth thingies. So I'm gonna just use one of these to get the makeup off. And when I'm done, I am going to um, moisturize my face and steam it. I have this new steaming machine that I did want to Theme with you guys I also got that for my birthday from my sister I'm gonna leave her YouTube somewhere in the bottom of this video so you guys can go watch her videos she also has a vlog of me if you didn't already see it on my birthday in the Poconos um, and my other friend who brought me all those amazing perfumes she also has a YouTube. You guys can go check her page out and watch her vlog of us in the Poconos. Um, we all three just decided to vlog because, um, you know, everybody's videos is not going to come out the same. Everybody's going to catch a different point in the video. And, like, um, I think that was our main thing. Um, just vlogging all of us for my birthday. So, yeah. I am just going to wash my face really quick. I know I just wiped it down with this washcloth, but I believe that there's still makeup residue. But I need just a little more practice. Like I want to be like one of the YouTube girls doing their makeup and stuff for y'all. So I'm leveling up all the way up this year. I'm not going to give up. And I am definitely going to put out better content for you guys, more content, and I'm going to try to put in more work, okay? Because it is well needed. Like, my editing skills need to get better. Um, my video recording. But um, as I go on, I've, I've been learning like so many new things about videos and vlogging and editing and thumbnails like i'm getting so much better and um thanks to my sister really because she <laughs> i don't know how she just started her youtube she's doing so much better than me she's doing really good actually like her editing is up to par she has an amazing camera she just got a, a macbook so like her channel is really about to go up guys stay tuned for that Make sure you guys go like, comment, and sh share, and subscribe to her channel. But yeah, that is the New Year's resolution. Okay? I'm going to just wash my face, and then we'll head to the steamer.
also guys i've been meeting like a lot of um new youtubers and stuff like adding me on instagram if you do not have me on instagram go follow me at room mac i'm going to leave my instagram below this video follow me go to my page I know most of my viewers come from Instagram anyways, so I don't really have to tell you guys to follow me, but um, some I, I have viewers on here from everywhere, honestly, because my videos are very public. But um, I've been talking to like a few YouTubers, we've been sharing each other's stuff, which I think is really nice because I think getting everyone's content out there is very it's very helpful like it, it helps build your channel i did gain a few subscribers from doing the um the share for share and i really appreciate those people out there trying to help and even get themselves out there i respect it you know 100 percent because we all need some type of support and I've learned that people in my hometown, in my city, <laughs> if you're from New York, you know that there is not that much support out here unless you got some real friends and family because New York is full of competition. And I don't really like that. Like, I'm kind of like a, I'm for the girls, like I said before. And like, I've met some, some really rude, like um youtube famous or instagram famous people and it's like dude it's not that serious you can share people's stuff sometimes you know like don't be stingy the clout is for everybody but that's why you never know who people are going to be later on in life try not to be so messed up and grimy to people because it does come back tenfold um especially if it doesn't cost you a thing to really support somebody. I think people need to get in the habit of doing that. <sighs> All right guys, so that is it. I did not use anything special for my face to wash it just now. I just used some apricot scrub. If you guys know what this is, I'm sure the black community knows this. No offense to the white people, but apricot scrub is good for your skin my mom has been buying us this since we were like pre-teens just to like keep our skin intact but overall our skin is really just naturally soft and oh, guys there's still a little bit more makeup you see i think it's just around my edges though but Yes, apricot scrub. You can find this at any drugstore or beauty supply. So now, to the steamer, guys. I have to finish getting some of this makeup out of my baby hair real quick. All right, guys, so we are here at my dresser and the face steamer. I am going to just moisturize my face like really fast some cocoa butter hold on i just started doing this because yeah i'm so terrible at like just taking my makeup off before i go to bed i don't know what the problem is why i do that i just get so used to not wearing makeup <laughs> I forget that I have makeup on when I actually do wear makeup. So I'm going to just hold this right here. I want you guys to see my son is over there sleeping. I kind of just like for a good 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. Hey guys, that is it for this video. <sighs> Boy, I need to get my nails done. 
but i am going to bed now i had a long productive day thank you guys for watching this video like comment share and subscribe and comment below and let me know what your new year's resolution is